oh, hold on. Patricia hasn't got a relationship with Alexander II at all. <gasps> I think he's autonomously used his alien powers on her. Why? Hello, my friends. Welcome to a new episode of this Let's Play with the Gods. We have Stefan in his third semester in university. And with him, we have Alexander II, his nephew, and Patricia Stone, a very old friend, family friend, we will say. Patricia's mom and Stefan's mom were best friends for a long time. They were also rivals for a little while when Stefan's mom woohooed putting Patricia Stone's dad. But anyway, that's old story. They're all dead now. And these guys are in university. They're having their last semester. Well, it is Alexander's the second last semester. Oh. Stefan and Patricia are gonna have to do an extra semester with a couple of subjects because, well, first semester they failed, it was really bad. But it's been much better since they moved to this student accommodation where they live with this lady who is coming right now. Uh, I think she needs to use the toilet, I don't know why. <laughs> oh, she's just disappeared. Oh well. So anyway, it's Monday and we want them to do well. Like in the previous semesters, I am not going to bore you too much with all the studying and all the coursework preparation, the papers, the presentations. They have to do so much work, these guys. But I will show you all the important bits. I'm not going to leave you outside. Patricia actually changed the subject. She's now studying drama, which was her intentions first, but she couldn't because she didn't have enough. It's a distinguished degree in this university and she didn't have enough skill to study. Look at her doing her own homework, very good. So they all have a presentation to do, okay. It's gonna be a lot of work. I think the first thing I want for them is to do homework for tomorrow's classes. I think I know why that girl disappeared. This is the new flatmate. He was sleeping in this bed. Oh, so the other girl must have passed her exams or something. Right, interesting. Okay, first day of classes, you all have to do well, guys, please. Why are you walking to classes, Stefan? I bought you a bike for a reason. Where is your bike? Well, you don't have it in your inventory anymore. Here it is. I know it's raining, but you have to finish your homework before you go to class. Okay, he's too uncomfortable. Okay, come home. Let's go. No, don't leave the bike there. Okay, never mind. Just leave the bike there now. You go all the way home because of the high maintenance rate he got shampoo in his eyes and he is annoyed. He's such a difficult boy and I really want him to do his homework. Please. Oh no, he's going to class. Okay, it's Thursday. They've been working really hard again for all these three days. Stefan is finally using his bike. He has class and a presentation today. So that is uh, what we're doing. Come on, Stefan. Okay, that was good. Very important. Take notes. That takes the grades up. And in the meantime, these guys, they should have stopped doing this and actually write the term papers. There's so many things that you have to do. And like, sometimes they have class in the morning or sometimes they have class in the afternoon. So if they have class in the afternoon, you can't just like, you have to put them to study in the morning. So otherwise, when they arrive in the evenings, they're so tired and you have to make sure that they all go to class. God. And they, you know, take notes. And like now, Stefan came out of class. He needs to jump in class again and do his presentation, which he has in the inventory. Okay, give the final presentation between classes because he has another class in four hours. There we go. Plus doing the homework of the two classes they have the next day, honestly. Okay, he's done. Well done. He's very bored though. Play video games before going to class. You have two hours. Oh, it's love day tomorrow. Okay. And you should be going to class. Stop. Stop writing the paper. Go to class. And all the friends keep calling to hang out and have a party. They know a party is good here. But, you know, they're going to have to wait for the week weekend, which is just tomorrow. Come on. It's love day and it's Friday. So I think we should try to do like a double date or something. I mean, you cannot technically do a double date. We can try doing something like that. But first they need to do uni and all of those things. Oh, the me. Okay, I think Alexander is losing it because of uh, how sad he is. It's 8 p.m. They still have to do work, but I think I'm going to have them, you know. I think Stefan can invite Jared and they can all have like a nice dinner here. Come on, Alexander, come here. 
cook a nice nasi lemak, you go home. They all can have a nice love day evening. Patricia is still studying. She's the one that is feeling the best, I think. Okay, everyone, come and eat. Okay, I think the flatmate is also going to stay here. Very nice. Where are you? Oh, you still haven't go home? Come on, dude. Oh, he's stinking. Okay, well, you have to eat. I know, I know. It's a tough, it's a tough week. It's a tough week, but it's only one semester left. Hey, stop crying, dude. My God, he's so dramatic. Why don't you do some kissing with Jared? I think that's what you need. And you guys should do the same. Where are you going? Patricia. Don't go to bed. Oh, no. Oh, hold on. Patricia hasn't got a relationship with Alexander II at all. <gasps> I think he's autonomously used his alien powers on her. Why? Why? Now you have to talk to her again from the beginning. He, they don't even know each other. Oh, God. Is there a way for him to stop being an alien? This is a realistic gameplay. This is a realistic let's play. These things shouldn't happen. Oh, come on. Why would you do that? Give her a love day gift, like some medicine, for instance. She'll value that. And you should give it to Jared as well. Where is he? Mm, I think he might have gone home. Oh, yeah, he's gone home. Okay, well, this is going to be a disaster. I'm sorry. You could have shower. And his social is terrible. Oh, God. Give him the, the soccer ball as a present. Try to make this happen. Seriously, guys, why? Maybe do some flirting. Confess attraction, you know. No alien power can change the... Oh, no, he didn't like that. Okay. Love day was awful. Alexander, you're annoying. You are annoying. I cannot wait to let you live your life. I was thinking I was going to move Alexander, Patricia and Stefan into one place, like into an apartment in the city for the last semester. But if he's going to be annoying like that, I might just don't. Why are you waking up in the middle of the night to have oh, to have a mental breakdown? <laughs> look at him. Gee, so dramatic. Seriously, you need to look happier. OK, it's Saturday. I think it's time for a party. They will have to do their homework first, though. I don't want to deal with homework tomorrow. Look at Patricia also crying under the bed sheets. Oh, come on, Patricia, it's not that bad. Yeah, I know, but you don't even remember anyway. Look at all this homework. Yes. Okay, do your homework. I think I'm going to invite all the besties friends. Or maybe they should all meet at the gym so they have a, an activity to do while they socialize. And also, hopefully, that helps with the high maintenance rate. Okay, time to go to the gym all together. And I want to start a gathering. I'm going to have them join the yoga, the yoga class, the three of them, see if I manage to grab the spots. Come on, guys, go directly there. I'm sure all that people are going to the yoga class. Look at them. No, don't even think about it. I am going to restart you right now. Anyone else? No. Haha, <laughs> loser. I know. I mean, you might say that that's cheating, but it is what it is. Hey, 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 you need this yoga class. So don't be going dancing because I know what you're going to do. Join the yoga class. Come on. Oh, too late. Well, practice some yoga. You also need it. Very good. I'm sure this is going to be very good for Stefan, honestly. <laughs> and actually, one of the things that Stefan needs to do for his aspiration is reach since maximum body potential. So he should try doing that. I have to do more exercise for that. So yeah, they're hanging out while they're running. But this, OK, no, he's soaking. Oh, he's soaking to Mortimer. That's like his uncle, Aww. who he doesn't know much, obviously, because he probably has erased their memories. So that's fun. Okay, time to have a shower, guys, and go home for a party. Alexander has talked to nobody. I think it's because he's socially awkward, so it's just very hard for him to have conversations. Come on, you still can't go and have a shower, though. Okay, they don't want to come to have showers, so I might just send them home. Okay, it's time for a cake party. Come on, cheer up. You're on a party now. Why don't you tap the juice cake? And hold on, because Lisa told me what you actually say when you do a cake stand, because I was very confused about this. Okay, in the meantime, you can keep trying to tap that cake juice. Well done. Okay, I know what you say now. Look, you're talking here with Mikaela, Virgin Sense, so maybe you can do the cake stand with her. Okay, there we go. Do it. Do it. Chook, 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 chook. I hope I'm saying it right. Chook. Haha, <laughs> and on the floor. Chook. Is it chook? Lisa, I hope I'm doing it right. But look, you're hungry, so why don't you make some food for everybody? Some, some soup. 
Are these guys, did they actually go to bed? Come on, wake up. And I think the music is off. Come on. I was quite enjoying the twin pop music. Come here and dance a little bit, both of you. And turn off the TV, please. There we go. Party time. It's university time. Look at this one telling him a really great story. Hey, don't be awkward. People are talking to you. Your social should be filling up. God, he is weird. He's not weird. Please, don't be mean. Pause, socialize with guests. Tell seems tell stories. Why are you doing homework? A okay, friendly introduction there. Keep talking to this lady, actually. Ooh, another cake stand. Okay, let's do another cake stand. This party is not going that great. I wanted Patricia and Alexander to get some charisma, but I think Stefan has got really good at doing parties. Look at that cake stand. That was perfect. Oh, there you go. Come on, why don't you tell some stories? You can overcome this awkwardness, my friend. We trust you. Soon soon. He's like, soon soon. What's up? He says, discuss weird atmospheric pressure. That's why maybe he is struggling, you know? It's the pressure. It doesn't allow him to be himself. His social feels so slowly compared to the rest. Hey, why is he being mean to him? Please don't be mean to him. He's a good guy. Empathize. Why don't you empathize with your, with your, yes, you see, empathizing with his alien powers. There you go. You see, use your alien powers for good, not for bad. Okay. Oh, he's a mean guy. That's why he was being mean to him. That's not really nice, is it? Where's the food? Okay, he feels better. Good. Good. Grab a serving and let's go to bed. Ooh, six in the morning. That was a good party. Oh, Stefan has reached level 10 of charisma. Yeah. Okay, time to go to bed, everybody. Patricia is already in bed. Well done. And I think she doesn't have to do any homework today. Yeah, good on you. You can finish your painting. Did you actually fall asleep? Oh, come on. You're just next to it. Oh, this guy is like uh, serenading her and she's liking it. Why don't you sell that to the collector? You know what? Do a flirty introduction. It's not your fault that Alexander <laughs> ruined everything. Yeah, hello. Okay. Oh, she didn't like that, or he didn't like that. Okay, maybe it didn't go well. Or oh, he smells bad, apparently. Okay, all right. Come and get some leftovers. Every time there is a party, the house looks disgusting afterwards. The only one who has to do homework is Alexander. Alexander, this semester, is the one who has been struggling the most. Maybe we can have them study a little bit. Oh, look at Patricia. One of her wants is to become friends with Alexander II. Poor girl. That was so unnecessary. Why are you sad now? Flat juice from Dinking Flat Juice. That's because you have the high maintenance street. You are so annoying. Come on, you guys. You really could do with a better relationship. The creativity is already we learned. Oh, we missed that. Well, we've missed all celebrations. I mean, impossible to enjoy all of the university things unless you only do those. Kiss? Why? Okay, kiss him. Why can't you kiss him if you don't have a relationship? Oh, oh. Oh, he said no. Hey. Okay. Alexander is too angry to do this. Okay, this I think this is going worse and worse. But why are you so angry? You're fine. Okay, he's quite tired, but that's it. Okay, you need to stop studying, my god. He's gonna have really good grades. It's time to bed. Tomorrow is exam day. And probably also moving day. Ooh, it's new skill day. Nice. Oh, was awful. Oh, it must have been like a glitch. I left the game and I came back and that popped out, but that's annoying. Let's get ready for exam day, having showers. Oh, these two are already angry. Why are you angry? Losing control from fear of unfulfilled dreams. Finish reading a book or rummage in the trash. Why? And why are you... <laughs> why are you guys doing this? Your guys being so difficult. Okay, just go and read a book. That'd be like finishing a, you know, finishing a dream. Go on. It's class in eight hours and four hours. And what about you? Why are you angry? Anger bomb, worst day ever. But he just wants to listen to twin music. Okay, why don't you do that? Be funny in a crowded place. Okay, got these guys. I want them to go in a good mood, you know, to their to their exams. Patricia is the only one that is half decent. Come and listen to some music. That will make you feel better, hopefully. There you go. And now change to Latin pop, another one. Wow, you're so lucky today. Oh, he's going to an exam. Did he finish reading the book? I'm not sure. He still wants to rummage in trash, but whatever. Go to the exam. What did we receive? We've got mail. Hey, Patricia is done. Good on you. 
Alexander is done as well. Well done. And Stefan is done. Yes. Okay, let's have a party while we wait for the grades. Okay. Oh, wow. Alexander has got A pluses on everything. So the turn GPA is an A plus and the GPA is A minus. Well done. Okay. Hey. Stefan as well. A plus on everything. Yes, boy. So we are on a B minus GPA now. And A plus, A plus. Okay, Patricia. It's not bad. A plus on three and A on one. But her GPA is A plus. Oh, this is because she changed careers, I guess. Anyway, well done. Yes. Okay, we have two more classes to do with Stefan and two more classes with Patricia. But we are going to move off campus, packing up and moving out. Yes. And same you, Patricia. Oh, Patricia, she needs to do four classes. And she must complete five classes to graduate. So there's still one more missing. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, well, if they're living in a flat, that's fine because she still will have to study one. So I'm going to, you know, I'm going to actually do three and two. Yeah, I don't want to be stressed as well. Moving off campus. Okay, we're packing up. Everyone is leaving. I don't know what we can take with us. He likes fitness. Mm, no, not particularly. Can we take this with us? I don't think so because we didn't pay for it. Well, I don't think we need anything from here then. Apart from maybe the cake stand. Let's go. We're all moving together. Oh, we can't do that like that. Okay, well, I'll do it on my own then. I'm actually going to move them to this apartment in San Michino that I recently refurbished. The weekly rent is 600 and the apartment looks quite grimy and dirty. And I just think it's a good starting point for their lives. And I think I'm going to move to the other apartment, some of their friends, so they are all together. So you see the flat is like not in the best condition. It has like all furniture. The walls are dirty because well, I'm thinking, OK, Stefan is rich because Bella Goth left him a lot of money. And it's the same for Alexander, but it doesn't mean that their parents are just giving them all the money. I think they need to start from the bottom, you know, and move up. And little by little, they get better with their jobs and everything. So this is the apartment. I'm going to upload a video doing the refurb soon. So I'm going to bring the other two. Bear with me. There we go. We have the three of them. Welcome to your new place, guys. I think we need to just do one thing. We need to replace one of these rooms. They need two beds. So probably this one. And they can leave this double bed for Patricia. Because I was going to have Patricia and Alexander sharing a bed. But now they can't. Because he decided to make her forget that he ever existed. I'm going to give them decent beds. I don't want, you know, I don't want the drama of them not sleeping well. We don't have much money. I'm also going to change Patricia's bed. I love this bed, how it looks, but I need a better one. This one is quite decent. There we go. All right, guys, welcome to your new place and your new life in the city. Come on, don't be shy. Come in, come in. I'm going to assign these beds. And to be honest, what I want is Alexander and Patricia to get back together because I kind of thought that that was a done deal and now it's going to annoy me. And also Patricia really wants to become friends with him. So that's just fair. Tell him an outrageous story. Tell him a funny story. And I am going to leave this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I think it's very exciting the point we are at. And let's see how they, you know, earn money, improve this flat a little bit. And at some point, obviously, we'll just continue with Stefan on his own. But I think while he's young, we can just enjoy the city, go out, have fun, and explore that part of the gameplay. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the episode, please like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.